Hey guys, what is going on? This is Fi, and on welcome to my first tutorial. Um, it's a pretty exciting one. We're going to be doing a really cool scope transition effect. Now I just quickly want to apologise as well. If my microphone goes glitchy at any time in this video, I do apologise because my microphone has been glitching up recently. Um, I'm trying to fix it, but hopefully it, it is fixed um, for this video. But that's just a quick warning, so if it does go glitchy, try to follow along on the screen as best as possible. Um, yeah, so actually into this tutorial, the effect we g I'm going to be showing you how to do today is um, the effect I use in my I Need Some Sleep edit, which featured Optic Saw and Raw Mikey. Um, I uploaded this yesterday, um, and I really like this edit. It was really clean, really nice. And I've got a couple of people asking me how to do the scope transition. So I'm just going to play it through for you here, and you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and as you can see, that was a really, really nice transition. Just, I mean, in my opinion, it's really nice. You've got the nice stroke here coming in, and the scope fade in, and boom. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the actual s is the stroke is the size of the scope and everything. It's perfect. It's just such a nice transition. Um, so yeah, the example we're going to be doing um, today, I'm just going to show you. I made this in five. I made this in five minutes, so it doesn't take long at all. So. You can see that, yeah, it's just it's really easy to do. Now, a lot of the stuff, like all the like the glow and stuff, you won't actually have to do yourself. Um, now, I actually downloaded the three D Stroke Glow by Optic Taser, um, and I've been playing around with all the different settings you can do, and I actually came up with this transition. Um, on my own, I didn't like see it in any edits. Um, I have seen it in edits since I've started making it, but it is really nice. It's not overused. It's not used much, and even still, if it is overused, it still looks nice and it goes so fast you don't really notice it. Um, so yeah, the one thing you are going to need is to download his 3D Stroke Glow preset. Now you can access that easily by going to his um, YouTube page. There will be a big annotation on the screen um, with a link to. The video where you can download it um, from him. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make a new composition here. I'm just gonna call this Tut because I'm original. It just doesn't need to be long. Just 20 seconds, just for this example. Um, I'm gonna drag the clip I don't want to use in, and then I'm gonna drag in the actual clip I want to use, the clip I want to transition to. So let's just find I want to transition. Oops, get rid of that. I want the transition to kind of happen like here, so I'm going to say at 12 seconds and 30 milliseconds. I want the transition to happen. Now, you can't just stick the clip in and fade in the scope because if you actually notice in this, the scope fades in and then the rest of the clip fades in, so that all the surroundings. Same on this one, if you notice, the scope just the scopes there so we're not just fading in the clip so there is some masking and stuff involved so you basically want to find where he first scopes in on the clip so I'm just dragging it down here uh, I want to go to like it doesn't have to be exactly the first frame but obviously give time for the actual animation to happen okay so here's the um, transition I was going to drag this to here so now we have so far you scroll through the first clip enough just a little quad feed and then it cuts straight to the scope here and kills and it has like all the surrounding HUD and so on now what the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer by holding command and D or control and D I believe it is on a Windows I use a Mac as you can see so the hotkeys might be slightly different if you don't know the hotkey you can go to edit and duplicate here um, now on this top layer you want to Go along your toolbar at the top here and hold down on this one that should be a rectangle like that and select the ellipse tool. Now you want to hold down shift and basically drag something, the shape, the roughly the same size as the scope. Now because I've done it a bit off the scope, I'm just going to kind of guess as to the right size like that. I'll then go to the normal tool and I'm going to click one of the edges and hold and drag till I position it over the scope like this and there we go so now if we hide the the layer without the mask you can see now we have our scope 
and don't worry about these black borders and stuff it actually looks all right as you can see if I go back to here if I do this you can actually see the black borders but because the stroke goes around it you hardly notice it when it plays and it could go by so fast you really don't notice it whatsoever so there we've got the scope now the next thing we need to do is actually fade it in so I'm going to go to the first one I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here not that far I'm going to hit the, the like just the scope and press T I'm going to hit the little stopwatch and turn the opacity down to zero now T brings up the opacity so you can animate it then I want to go to 45 so I want to go 15 frames forward and I want to change it up to 100 so I want to take 15 frames to fade in now the next thing I want to do is hit T on the under like the this the main layer like the unmasked clip and I want to hit the keyframe again the stopwatch I want to turn it down to zero again and I want to fade this in but I only, I only want this to take 10 seconds so 10 frames sorry not seconds so I'm going to fade it up to 100 so now scope fades in then the rest of the clip fades in now you can actually once this once the main clip is faded in fully you can hold shift command and D or go to edit and click split layer and delete the back half so now you don't have two two versions of the scope so the scope is only appearing for the duration of its fade in and then it cuts out here and it carries on and gets the triple I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this well I am trying my best to explain this so I'm actually just going to rename these layers I'm going to leave that one as it is I'm going to call this one main clip and I'm going to call this oh, whoops, scope mask like that so that's pretty much the basics of the non actual stroke stuff so I'm actually just going to find where he shoots I'm going to stick a song in just so we get the